it's all about fun this bike. Yes, your eyes do deceive you, lady and gentlemen. This is not a Yamaha RD350. This is the Velocity Moto XSR flies 700. Now, this basically takes the XSR 700 retro classic uh, naked that Yamaha make and puts a twist on it, makes it look like a true Yamaha classic the fantastic RD350, using moulds of original RD350 kit modified to fit the XSR. Now this is done by a company called Velocity Moto. If you cast your minds back, I've also done a review of their 900 LC, they called it, version of this machine, which I absolutely loved. This is based on the, let's call it the MT-07 engine, that CP2 engine, that parallel twin. It's a really fun motorcycle. Now, I've never actually reviewed the Yamaha XSR 700. So this is going to be a double review. First of all, what is the Yamaha XSR 700 like? And what is this Velocity Moto RD350 kit like? Quality, price, and where'd you get it from? I better don my sunglasses and get cool like the kids. Jopsy, roll the intro. Now, you cannot deny, even though it may not make the right noises, you know, it sounds like this, as opposed to like this. But, even still, you can't deny it's an amazing looking thing, this, and an incredible conversion kit. And, you know, the, the RD350 was always known as a, a really fun bike, wheels wheeling everywhere, you know, a real hooligan's bike. And actually, the XSR 700, this, this 700cc CP2 Yamaha motor, it's so fun. This bike is a real fun machine that wheelies, it wheelies everywhere like the original RD350. So, uh, without further ado, let us jump aboard. Listen to that. <laughs> yeah, it's quite loud and it sounds rather naughty. But how nice is the tone of that engine? How nice is the tone of that CP2 motor? Sounds beautiful. Whoa! Front wheels up already. I've only just set off. Now, as I said at the beginning, I've never ridden uh, an XSR 700. I've only just now started talking to Yamaha very recently about borrowing some of their bikes. Now this bike is a 2019 bike. Uh, this Velocity Moto kit will fit on the latest XSR. The only difference is the clock mounting bracket is different. So you have to buy the older generation clock mounting bracket. But everything else the kit will fit on. But this is a 2019 bike, so it's not the latest XSR 700. But I think it's, it's going to be pretty darn close to what the, the most recent one is like. Good afternoon, sir. So before we get into all the details about the kit, let's just look at the bike, you know, let's look at the, the base machine that you're going to be building this kit on. Now this is a 78 horsepower parallel twin with the old, you know, cross plane firing order to give it that good bit of punch and also that's why it sounds so good as well. Um, it's a brilliant little engine and it's, it's I think it's 70 horsepower. 64 newton meters or something like that you know 188 kilos wet this bike as well so it's also you know surprisingly light and it gives you decent performance you know it it really flies along at a decent rate the biggest problem with this bike if you do want something to chuck around the twisties and get a little bit a little bit naughty on is the chassis has got quite a lot of flex in it now this bike has got KTEC upgraded forks, KTEC rear shock, you know, and, st and I'm 20 stone and six foot two. Let's not forget that important point. But this bike does wallow and you know, it's, it's, it's got a lot of flex in it. You know, it's much more of a comfortable 
ride we know with a wafty suspension than a, than a sports bike throw some twisties at it and it'll you know if it's a perfectly flat billiard smooth road it's not bad but you know it bounces around a little bit there's a bit of flex in it <laughs> but you can have some fun on it you know it's it's all about fun this bike rear brake is very good so it's definitely a bike you've got to sort of reduce your speed on the rear brake a lot into the corners rear brake's great front brake it's pretty decent but you know it will induce a fair amount of dive on the forks so i think if you do want to go a little bit quicker it's one to sort of set up on the rear and put it in the corners and open it up this bike does also have a, a power commander on it as well so it isn't standard this and i have to say the fueling is very very nice on this and it makes me wonder if the standard machine is as good as that it's got no electronics this either which i love it's got abs of course because that's a legal requirement but there's no traction control there's no rider modes i don't think either it's just raw bike and i think for a 70 horsepower bike that's what you want i don't want little middleweight bikes covered in electronics and gizmos it doesn't even have a quick shift of this you know this is very much a raw fun motorcycle as was the uh, the rd350 of course so i like that i like the fact i don't have to worry about what mode i'm in whether i've got the wheelie control off oh, perfect bit of rear brake nass around layer down this way it changes direction nice because it's so darn light I mean it does worry me slightly that you know this bike's got 1100 quids worth of k-tech upgrades on the suspension and even this bike is very bouncy and wallowy into corners you know on a bumpy bit of tarmac like we've got here Woo! bumpy bit of tarmac you know it's wallowing around you know, what's the standard bike like if this is what it's like after it's been upgraded one thing which is coming with this kit we're going to stop in a minute and i'll do a full walk around and i'll show you the kit in detail i'll tell you what's included in the kit how much it is and all of that but one thing which is coming is to relocate this uh, sort of clock the clocks here and move them up into here because there's a bit of a gap here which is a bit of a weird sort of space when you're not riding i was going to put my ultimate add-ons phone in there but i couldn't get it to attach that'd be perfect if you could have your phone in there with your sat nav that would be great but velocity moto is also developing a bracket to relocate this into here which i think will really help with the overall sort of aesthetic when you're looking at it when you're riding so ignore that bit of gap in here there is a relocation coming for this clock bracket here so there it is the velocity moto YPXS. <laughs> it's brilliant. I love it. It looks absolutely fantastic. Let's go through a few of the details of this kit. So starting at the front, first of all, you can see on this one, the wheels have been done in that sort of classic vintage Yamaha style with the black centers and then the silver uh, sort of diamond cut around the outside. So that's one little feature this bike's got. Also, the MT-07 has, you know, conventional way up forks. So that, again, goes with the aesthetic of, you know, the, the RD Classic. And uh, this bike does have K-Tech um, jobbies in, cartridges, to improve that front end feel a little bit. Belly pan section here, nice little attention to detail, is the water um, pump, the water pump metal hose has been painted red so it looks like the bottom of the frame on the lc nice little touch the front cowl with uh, you know a standard conventional bulb in it again that's that's molded after the you know after the original 350 lc so genuine remolded front cowl the tank on this one is finished in those classic yamaha colors there's even like the pleasantness in the paint here absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful also an option on this bike the frame has been powder coated red now of course to powder coat a frame red you have to remove everything off of the frame so if you want to get your frame powder coated red it's an additional 1100 pounds because of the labor involved obviously removing the engine removing everything and getting the frame powder coated but 
I must say it really does you know, give it that, that extra little hit with the red frame as well. Love it. This one's got a naughty little K-Tech rear shock in it as well. So upgraded suspension all around on this one. And another little nice touch. Normally the, swing, the swinging arm is black on these. Well, this has been stripped and sort of anodized silver again to finish that look. And then we've got the rear wheel as well. Also with that black centers and diamond cut outside to give it that truly authentic look. Side panels, again, modified from an RD350 and then the tail end and rack again is you know very very RD350 and then of course you've got the the, <laughs> the tail light as well which is uh, really RD350 all round so you know the, the whole thing comes together and just looks really really cool the seat is also sort of custom to the bike so you get the seat uh, the seat mountings and also a separate pull you know to a seat release cable is different as well but as you can see i mean it's it's fantastic a fantastic looking thing if you want a modern bike which has a sort of classic vintage look to it i don't think you can beat this so if you're looking for an xsr you obviously want that sort of classic retro look well they don't come more they don't come much more retro looking than one of these absolutely fantastic it's even got retro inspired pirelli rubber as well pirelli phantoms to complete that look so there we go let us jump back on even though i know it's not going to handle particularly well this looks the back up let's take it up the hill climb let's take it up the hill climb and have a look it's going to be one to shift your weight around on a little bit because it's so light sort of any changes of sort of direct of your body weight on it really make a difference and because the suspension's quite soft as well certainly with big fatties on like me you can really notice that moving your lower body around unsettles the bike a little bit so i think you'd be better off gently moving around but you know hanging off with your upper body better than moving your lower body around unless you're a, a little lightweight jockey certainly if you're a big fatty that um, settles it a little bit when i was moving my lower body around but it handles well enough doesn't it more than enough for a road bike you're not going to take it on track but as a road bike spot on you can have a lot of fun with this we've got a fuel gauge which is nice on like blocks which is which is very nice we've got temperature engine temperature rev counter speedo gear indicator which is nice but you know very very simple nothing too taxing on here i mean you even have to push the buttons on here to cycle through your trip and your outside air temperature and that sort of stuff you know there's no buttons on the switch gear anywhere to go through modes or anything what's this here Oh, hazards, there we go. You've got hazard lights. There's not many bikes at this sort of price that are as much fun as this. Honestly, I, I was taken aback with how, how much fun this was to ride. I always thought the MT-07 was, you know, very much a, a learn a legal machine because of course, it, you know, it can be A2 compliant. You know, it can be. So I thought, yeah, it's a bit of a beginner's bike. But it's, I think if you bought one of these and you brought up and you've bought an A2 version, you've de-restricted it, then you think, oh, I want to get up and get, I want to go up the ladder and get something faster, better. I think you'd be surprised. You know, you buy that bike and you think, yeah, it's great, it's faster, but it's not as much fun as my old XSR 700 or MT, MT07, you know. These are great fun bits of kit. I'd happily have one of these, actually. For those days when you just want to go out and just have a little cruise around, you know, have a bit of fun, pop the front wheel up a few times, it just brings a grin to your face. It's a really good, fun, cheap motorcycle. If you're looking for a retro, you know, modern bike, yeah, I mean, the XSR looks great, you know, as it is, what Yamaha have designed, yeah, it's, it's retro looking, looks good. But if you kind of go retro, I want to go the whole hog and go proper retro in the looks. So there we are. It's great to finally ride this. I know 
Velocity Moto has been working on this bike for quite some time now. You know, it's been in development for a long time. This is the only one in existence at the moment. This is the, the, the prototype, you know. So these are now just going available for sale, this kit. I'll put links below. Click, look at the description or go to the website, website links below as well. Um, as I say, base bear kit is about 1100 quid. That includes all your brackets, the cow, the kit. You know, you can, you can get it painted via Velocity Moto as well but you know it's all there really and uh, because these are so cheap to buy initially you know, whether you go a second hand one or go brand new and I think even Yamaha I know with the uh, the 900 version that they do I know that Yamaha even like approve the kit and you can buy it from Yamaha dealers with the kit already installed which is really cool so it's not going to affect your warranty and things like that as well you know if you're buying a brand new bike so um yeah check out the links below fantastic massive thanks to uh, velocity moto for lending this to me i've had this for about a week to play on and i tell you it's it's such good fun so there we are thank you very very much for watching if it's one of the first videos you've seen of mine you know please consider subscribing I, i've test rode more or less everything now these days so i'm going to be doing a lot more on the yamaha range i'm hoping to get on the new mto 10 soon so mto 10 hopefully ridden soon and i can get my mucky little mitts on that yamaha press fleet and uh, yeah so join me join the fun and subscribe to the channel thanks very much guys see you on the next power one level one which is full power <laughs> Boy. I could do that all day. What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>